Welcome back to Slacker Gaming and welcome to this episode of going over the Umbral upgrade system. So now that New World has added the upgraded Umbral system, it's a little more complicated than it was before as far as gear score goes and all of that good stuff. So I wanted to do an episode to go over that. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. Well, hello again, and welcome to this episode where we are going to go over the Umbral upgrade system. And well, basically what this is, is before you get to level 590, and it's basically you're at level 600 once you get to 590, because the gear score can drop 10 above or down to 10 below. So since the January patch that came out, I think like January 24th or something, I believe is when it came out, since then... It is changed as far as your gear score goes so to kind of show you what I'm talking about if you open this up and you go to your gear score you see 590 before and you're like oh great this is as high as I could get it even though you can drop level 600 gear the upgrade system would only allow this number to go to 590 so the object was to get everything to 590 so that way you have the chance at dropping legendary gear at gear score 600 but since the update and everything this has switched to 600 now so now we're trying to get 600 here as you can see i have a few things upgraded just from picking stuff up uh from running elite chests and stuff like that and i'll go over all this in a little bit uh, but the expertise of these now goes higher than 590 it goes all the way to 600 but there's another caveat that you can actually get your gear your weapon whatever you have to 625 that is just the overview of what the expertise system is what the expertise system changed so let's jump into kind of what the umbral upgrade system will do for you so players can upgrade the individual gear pieces from 590 to gear score of 625 by spending these umbral shards and the ability to upgrade these items of any type is unlocked when the player hits 600 expertise for the item type so once your item type hits 600 you will begin to upgrade with umbral shard you can get umbral shards before then but you cannot upgrade anything until you get to 600 so if you didn't know how to upgrade your gear score you can either do it by finding things out in in the wild while you're running around a lot of people do elite chest runs which if you don't know what those are i have videos on on those as well of me doing the elite chest runs and getting upgrades in the expertise but another way you could do it if you don't want to run the elite chest is to do it with the gypsum kiln now these gypsum kilns again i did a whole episode on how to graze your gear score uh so that will be uh probably pin down below if you guys want to watch that as well but to kind of explain this quickly there's a gypsum uh kiln tier five you're going to go there and you will create these gypsum orbs based on the amount of gypsum you have for something before now you can only craft one every 22 hours i believe now you can craft as many as you could possibly get here so as you can see i can actually craft two because i have six of the three needed so i could craft two here so let's go ahead and craft those two we get a gypsum orb life is great and then we can go down here and do the gypsum casts with the orbs we got so we got those two orbs now we can build two casts because each cast is worth one um, gypsum orb so you can go through here and these are still a cooldown of 22 hours and you can only get one per every 22 hours so keep in mind what you want to do kind of save up on these i've been kind of saving these up for this episode the last couple days so like this one i have eight this one i have two this one i have three this one i have two so i've been kind of saving these up as um just to kind of for this episode so if you have whatever turn them all in to the gypsum orbs and then come over here and buy the casts that you need now i've already done this before going into it because i kind of planned ahead i knew this was this update was coming based on the ptr and so what i did was i saved up 
uh, ones from other days. That way I can just go ahead and upgrade these and get it all the way to level 600 already. So here's the live staff that I have. It's at 590. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the live staff cast. And when we do this, it will give us a guaranteed upgrade in expertise. Now, before I do that, I want to show, tell you that this is one of the ways of acquiring umbral shards. There's three ways you could do it. I will go over those here in a second. However, this is one way to do it. And since we're already in here and I'm kind of showing you what you can do to get your gear score to 600 so that you can start using the umbral shards, we're going to upgrade my life staff up to 600. So now it's at the uh, 592 upgrade it again 594 upgrade it again 596 upgrade it again 598 and now here is the 600 so my gear score now if you noticed it was at 590 now it's at 600 meaning that we can start using the umbral shards now that we've got the umbral shards it's going to be a little different on how you can get these but I'm gonna go over the three ways of getting them that way you can start upgrading so the three ways of getting umbral shards are the brand new mutators expeditions um, and this is the most efficient way but it's also gonna cost you and probably be the most difficult way of getting them so if you have the ability to run mutators expeditions all the time this will be the fastest way of getting them and you're going to get a ton of them uh, for doing the expeditions. But basically you're going to go through the expeditions. You're going to beat it at the higher difficulty level and the uh, mutated one. And then the higher the score rank achieved, the more shards a player will earn. So the higher you go up in the score, the higher or more shards you will get. The other way to do it is to open gypsum casts once the expertise of that type has reached 600 so you notice before i opened them i did not get any single uh cast from that or i didn't get any single uh shard from that and that's because i wasn't at 600 however now if we go down here and we go to the live staff here to try to upgrade it we're going to buy one there we know it's already at 600 so this is buying um a cast after 600 boom look at that live staff at 600 we're going to open this life staff and boom, there is the umbral shard you get. I increased it from 600. Well, I was at 600 and basically bought another one. And basically what you get is the umbral shard. And I wouldn't try to do it this way because you're going to spend a lot of time trying to get the orbs and stuff just to upgrade something that's already kind of maxed out at 600 like you're not going to increase your gear score here above 600 by doing these casts however if everything you have is at 600 then go for it do it use it as much as you possibly can to get umbral shards however again i would suggest doing it a different way because if you don't have something at 600 already you need to be using the orbs and the casts for that and then the last way of crafting this or getting these umbral shards is if you can craft a 600 gear score item once the expertise of that type has reached at least 600 expertise. So again, if my life staff is at 600, if I go in here and won't be able to do it here because this is workshop, but if I go in here and say my, my musket or whatever, is at level 600 and then I go in here and give them all the upgraded everything and everything is perfect get all this upgraded and my score ends up being a gear score of 600 you will get umbral shards with that so that's the third and final way to do it is to actually create a gear score 600 item and then you will get the the umbral shards with that when you craft it so that we've done all that, you kind of wonder, well, why are we doing this? Why is it really worth and how do things work once it's at 600? So, so once you have a level 600 item and you have the expertise, so my life staff at 600, I got the weapon of a gear score life staff of 600. So what you're going to do here is you're going to click on it. You're going to go to the upgrade and this is where you're going to apply umbral shards and actually increase the the score for it so once you're at 600 
you have a 600 gear score item you go to upgrade here and this is where you do the gear score so i can actually raise this from a 600 to a 602 upgraded there and one last thing to tell you is once you upgrade an item with umbral shards it binds that item to you or to the player so you can't give your friend jimmy your life staff and say upgrade this he upgrades it it's his now you can no longer get it back from him and same thing if you're trying to like i don't know raise a gear score and then sell it on the auction house you're not going to be able to because once you upgrade this with the umbral shards it will not you will not be able to do anything with it so just kind of show you three umbral shards that i got earlier will get you from about a 600 to a 602 then you hit upgrade there and boom you got a level 602 gear score so there we go you get your level 600 up to a 602 and the object is obviously get to 625 with your items once you do that then you're good to go you got the best of the best currently out in the game so again to kind of go over this before we are completely done with this episode the umbral system can only be done once you hit the expertise level of 600 and it's only on these certain item types so if i went to upgrade this i cannot do it because it's only 533 expertise but since my life staff is at 600 i can then use these umbral shards here to upgrade a level 600 gear score item boom upgrade it and now you have a 602 item instead of a 600 item also this has changed because before it was at 590 was a max now you're at 600 when you max out so once you get a 600 here you're maxed out and you can finally upgrade that item slot i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope it kind of answered the questions about the umbral system and kind of how to use it uh if you have any questions comment them down below i'd love to answer those if you enjoyed this episode make sure you give it a big thumbs up also feel free to hit that red subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one slacker out